Articular cartilage defects occur when there's damage to the surface of the knee. This can lead to severe pain and get in the way of patients' everyday lives. Cartilage has limited capacity to heal by itself, and pain can come from either the damaged cartilage underlying bone or both. Enter the CartiHeal Agility C Cartilage Repair Implant. Cartilage lesions of the knee are a major clinical challenge. The CartiHeal Agility C Implant is convenient with a simple single surgery and no donor tissue required. Versatile for small to large lesions in the condyles and troglia. with or without the presence of osteoarthritis and effective with level one clinical evidence showing significantly better coups overall at all time points. Begin the procedure by making a small incision to expose the articular surface. Then, position the perpendicular aligner in the lesion and verify that it is perpendicular to the articular surface, will be surrounded by two millimeters of bone and is touching healthy cartilage. Next, place the K-wire in a motorized drill so that the indicator line is visible. Then thread the K-wire through the perpendicular aligner and drill into the lesion until the indicator line reaches the proximal end of the perpendicular aligner. Afterwards, release the K-wire from the drill. Remove the perpendicular aligner, leaving the K-wire in place. Then place the drill sleeve over the K-wire. Holding the drill sleeve firmly against the articular surface, place the drill bit into the drill sleeve over the K-wire and drill until it reaches a stop. Then remove the drill bit and drill sleeve together, leaving the K-wire in place. For the next step, securely connect the reamer to the quick connect handle and rotate clockwise until the laser line is no longer visible from all sides to ensure the correct depth. Then remove the reamer. Rinse the site with saline to flush out any debris. Next, insert the shaper over the K-wire and manually rotate clockwise until the indicator line is no longer visible from all sides. Repeat this step three times. Then remove the shaper and the K-wire and rinse again with saline. Trim the peripheral cartilage using the cartilage cutter or a scalpel to ensure smooth edges and to avoid soft tissue entrapment during implant insertion. Complete a final rinse with saline and change gloves prior to handling the implant. With care, manually insert the Cardi Hill Agility C implant by firmly pushing it with your thumb until it sits flush with the articular cartilage. So its final position is aligned with the subchondral bone. Push until position two millimeters recessed relative to the articular surface. You may feel a tactile click. The implant procedure is now complete. When multiple implants are used, it is important to keep a bone bridge of at least five millimeters between the implants to avoid impingement. Cardi Hill Agility C implants can be used to repair a variety of cartilage lesion locations and sizes. Studies have shown that the Cardi Hill Agility C implant provides clinically meaningful outcomes superior to the surgical standard of care. The Cardi Hill Agility C implant is convenient versatile, and effective. Return your patients to life unlimited with cartilage restoration and bone repair. Learn more at smithandnephew.com slash cartaheel.